Like every other industry, the anime dub voice acting industry has become a place ridden with diversity hires for clout. Of course, they've been trying to push identity politics in the characters all the way along. We saw last year about this guy who was going off saying he'd no longer voice certain characters because he's white and he literally can't even. It was ridiculous. And uh, this is what they do. Everybody just completely prostrates themselves uh on the diversity bandwagon, the diversity religion. And we have a very interesting incident today where one of these diversity hires got replaced with the original voice actress for a character uh, who was doing it before. And uh, they, <laughs> she got paid, got her job, all that. All of her recordings were replaced. And uh, of course, all the fans came in and did their, their sort of, oh, I'm sorry, it must be racism. Only to be corrected by the original voice actress, who we're going to get into this in just a second, because she was salt mining things. Very funny stuff. Now, uh, guys, a lot of people are not subscribed to this channel. I think we got about 50% of our channel uh, viewers are uh, regular subscribers, and I appreciate you guys being there. But for the rest of you, I'd love for you to get on board. Come join our cultural movement. We're not just talking about culture here. We're creating our own. I'm making books. I'm making comics. We're going to make some manga-style stuff, too. So if you like that kind of thing, make sure to get in here and, of course, uh, come hang out with us. We have the best fun on the entire Internet here, and, uh, of course, we love our community. Here is the news today. Uh, this comes from uh, Anna Riskiones. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty rough. Hey, y'all, the studio and client decided to go in a different direction. I am no longer voicing Yoruichi in Bleach, uh, TYBW, and my recordings will be replaced. It meant a lot to, uh, to take on such an iconic WOC. I appreciate all the love. I'll still be voicing Hiyori. So uh, this lady, I guess, was playing two characters here. And she was getting uh, an upgrade in characters. And uh, she, they, as you can see, <laughs> one of those. And uh, and she got replaced by the original voice actress. So she says, thank you, Viz Media, for letting me play just a little bit. Um, and here it is. They will miss you. Shine on. Move on. Your gifts have no limit. And, of course, uh, we get more. That sucks, dude. Sorry. Uh, that really sucks. You've been put in a tough position. Just remember how many people were happy to see you in the role, even though they never heard it because her voices <laughs> recordings got replaced. Uh, I'm heckin' excited for you. Black excellent. Uh, she was posting uh, to somebody else who's got me blocked. <laughs> Black excellence. You see, it's all about the characters uh, uh, being voiced, uh, identity of the actors here, not anything else. Uh, I have a good feeling I know exactly what happened in playing racism. A certain VO who also directed a lot of projects wasn't happy about being replaced. Uh, yeah, I mean, people don't get happy about being replaced in general. Uh, so it's ridiculous here. So uh, the original voice actress here uh, decided to comment on this. Uh, if we can get into this, and it's by uh, Wendy Lee. Uh, decided to come and do the comments and so heard by a scheduling error so this was a scheduling error apparently what happened was there was a scheduling error where Wendy, Wendy Lee uh, was getting replaced and it was not intended to uh, happen and of course then she got back in the role because she was able to do it it's the biz mistakes happen after all uh, uh, these years thought I might have your support too. No, but she, you're white. You're not allowed to have support. That's the whole point here. Uh, I'm truly sorry. Honestly, trying to show support for someone who was hurt, but I'll try to be more quiet in the future. Oh no. Here we go. Recasting is part of the biz. It happens. It was a scheduling mistake, but interesting to see how quickly my colleagues are ready to see me off. And these are, I guess, colleagues in the, in the voice actor, uh, Wendy, me being sad because a voice actor got cast, announced, and then had to deal with a very public recast doesn't mean I'll hold any ill will towards you. I think the whole thing got way more complicated and toxic than it needed to. And it did. These people uh, got uh, uh, toxic because this lady who replaced her was black and she was white. So they really wanted to push on this. This was this is what they wanted to do. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. Regardless of the region, it was an unthink the cool thing to do to an heiress. Uh, knowing what positions that put me in. This is the biz. We all get recast at some point. In this case, it was mistakenly done uh, by the person scheduling here. So it's not a racism thing as everybody likes to pretend it is. Uh, it is uh, something else completely. So uh, I'm glad Wendy's actually going in standing up for herself because it's easy to just be quiet and just do things here. 
But look, all these people are getting replaced by minority replacements quite regularly. And uh, that is actually a problem that's happening in across every single industry. And uh, you do need to stand up for yourself. You do need to stand up uh, for the, your ability to work as a white person these days. And uh, the fact that the entire industry, all the fandom comes in and goes, oh, I'm so sorry, it must be racism uh, in these sorts of instances is not fair to the people who are doing the work and, of course, have made these shows great in the past uh, when they do get replaced in these instances. I'm glad she got her job back. I'm glad that the scheduling error uh, was corrected and wasn't just gone forward with in the name of diversity anyway. That is good for Bleach fans, and it's good, of course, for the industry as a whole. So let's uh, look at this, laugh at it because of the people on the internet coming to wild conclusions, making stupid statements as they always do. <laughs> it's really funny to see. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.